Hi and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. On this channel we discuss all aspects of the ascension process. I have a variety of services that I offer to assist in your awakening journey and you can find those listed in the description box below. We are going to be doing the daily reading today for Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. And yes, it is a little bit late today. I had a couple unexpected things happen. I had a visit from a very dear friend, a couple very dear friends of mine that I didn't anticipate, but it was really, really good to see them. Um, we live together for for a time but they have some amazing changes going on in their lives and they have moved on so I took that time out to spend with them earlier and then I was fortunate enough to have my first remote Reiki attunement and so that was very very beautiful I I really enjoyed that experience very deeply I it was very special and it was just a beautiful way to spend my afternoon sharing and uh, that gift of Reiki and welcoming another into into the uh, the fold I guess you would say into that that new experience it's really really beautiful I highly recommend uh, Reiki as well as the Bell Vespita that I also do anything like that really working with and deepening your connection with those energies which really helps to deepen the connection to self and so we got to play with that and explore that today and have fun with that and that was absolutely beautiful and now I'm here with you beautiful people and we are talking about these energies and it, it's interesting because the astrology has changed a little bit since I looked at it this morning uh, but we'll go over that when we get to that portion first we're going to talk about the galactic energy of today today is a day that's ruled by the third eye and guided by life force and the uh, galactic signature of today is the red overtone earth energy and so the red earth energy is all about evolving navigation and synchronicity and so it's really using synchronicity as our guide as we navigate this life experience and as we continue to evolve so really synchronizing with the earth synchronizing with her rhythms understanding that we are one with her and really deepening that connection with the earth which also of course deepens the connection with the self and then really playing around with and noticing the synchronicities as we connect more with the truth of our being as we connect more with the earth with this experience we become more tapped into the flow of synchronicity and we can see that as a guidepost helping us to navigate the terrain of our lives and when we're working with this overtone tone which is all about empowering commanding and radiance it's really like becoming empowered by our life's journey by our ability to evolve and to navigate this journey and really like almost like commanding those synchronicities like being that co-creator with spirit where we are commanding our reality and navigating that um, with with this this highly evolved energy and the the synchronicity this red earth energy and the uh, the overtone as well or just just this uh this this uh, red earth energy in de in general which is interesting because earth energy we don't necessarily think of this way but it's also a, it's also about telepathy in some ways and so the quote at the top of this says synchronicity is how we experience telepathy so really pay attention to the synchronicities we notice those when spirit is talking to us we notice those when our higher self is talking to us our guides are talking to us we notice that when other people are talking to us as well people communicate with us telepathically through synchronicity so really being aware of that and open to that and the more we open to the magic of synchronicity the more we see that that magic unfurling our, in our lives and the affirmation for today is I empower in order to evolve commanding synchronicity I seal the matrix of navigation with the overtone tone of radiance I am guided by the power of life force so today is a day to really radiate that life force energy out of us right to radiate that all all around to to command our energy and to really uh, just allow our energy to speak for itself essentially <coughs> so the moon is in capricorn uh the moon was in capricorn all day earlier today we had a bisextile going on between mars neptune and the moon and so that was a really fun energy i felt that as a highly creative intuitive dynamic kind of energy where we're really being we're be receiving that higher guidance and we're able to really act upon it with ease and so i hope that some people experience that in their day and now as the day is coming to a close we actually have the moon moving into conjunction with pluto and so this is a bit of a 
a more intense energy, high, a high emotionality that we may experience here with this moon conjunct Pluto energy. Also, a, a lot of psychic power and a lot of psychic energy in that connection. And this is in the sign of Capricorn, so it's very grounded energy. It's, it's that energy of stepping into our authority, right? Really taking emotional authority but also really looking and being aware of our emotions being cognizant of them being cognizant of the shadow side of them and allowing all aspects of our emotional experience to be present and to be witnessed so that's the major energy that i that i feel or see going on with the astrology today and we're going to start out with a couple conscious spirit cards clear what guidance okay first card out crown chakra i know i am part of source and my life is guided by divine wisdom so that divine wisdom right which leads to that divinely inspired action coming through that's that psychic power that we were talking about especially later today now that we have that moon conjunct pluto energy that we have the wheel of life i am guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them and so as we connect more, right, when we're taking in this red earth energy, as we connect more with the energies and the cycles of the planet, we connect more with the cycles of our lives and we're able to navigate those with much more ease and to understand that everything is a, is a cycle and everything has a time and everything has a place within that cycle. So really honoring where within our cycle of life we are and not trying to be somewhere that we're not. I think that this is something that a lot of us um, get caught up in sometimes is thinking that we should be further along than we are, thinking that we should be anywhere exa except exactly where we are right now. And remember, now is the only moment that exists and where you are right now is perfect. It's exactly where you were meant to be. Um, but if it's not somewhere that we want to be, then we're there for a reason too, because that's showing us what we don't want so we can then pursue what it is that we do want. And we have reach out coming out. I reach out my hand and heart to connect to and unite all of humanity. So this energy of really reaching out, I'm feeling this is like reaching out to those around us today. If you are, immediately when this card came out, what I, what I thought of was if you were struggling, reach out. Reach out uh, anywhere where you have supports. Um, definitely uh, you can drop a comment on here and reach out to me. Uh, reach out to other people in this community, right? Um, but there's, there's all different ways in all different places. This is like really... Um, just not being afraid to do that, not being afraid to ask for help when we need it and to reach out for connection when we need it as well. We have a lot of that, especially as we have this Venus conjunct Jupiter energy coming in. It's where we're wanting that connection. We're craving that connection. That moon conjunct Pluto energy is a very heavy energy of connection as well. And so any way that we can establish that connection or any way we can assist another in realizing that they're not alone and um, reaching out a helping hand to those that we see in need. That's extremely important right now, I think. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any way that these cards are tying together for me now, but I don't really feel like there's any other way that they are just yet. But it's also like reach out to the divine too. Reach out to the divine um, because they, like your team, your guide, your guidance team is listening right now. Your higher self is listening right now. Reach out, reach out to them as well. If you need guidance, if you are being, feeling a little bit confused on this wheel of life right now. If, if uh, you're in a, like whatever the cycle is that you are currently going for, if you are struggling in that cycle, reach out, reach out to the people in your lives, reach out to your spiritual team. Um, there is, there is help there that is available to you. There's connection. I'm really just feeling that desire to connect right now. And then we also have sacred space. I find peace, security, and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty. But to me, this is all about creating that sacred space, Right. So creating that sacred space is like connect with yourself too. I feel like sometimes we want a lot of this outer stimulation because we don't want to sit with ourselves and feel what's coming up for us. And especially with this moon conjunct Pluto energy, we're going to be feeling it. And so there's no way to really avoid that. So it's like, I feel like there is a message coming through for people who have been like in a process of kind of like running away from themselves right lately to stop doing that and to really um to really reconnect with yourself embrace yourself reach out and love and honor yourself just that that piece of of connecting with yourself is so important right now and it's also how you like how you move into the next cycle and how you receive this guidance that's coming through is by allowing that allowing that space for that to come in and then reach for your dreams <clears throat> 
we get so many of the same cards right so this is so important right now i'm the creator of my dreams and i achieve them with confidence really moving into that energy right now uh continuing to to move for that continuing to strive for that so a lot of uh, varying messages coming out right now, which is really interesting. Um, yeah, let's dig, let's dig more deeply into this. Let's get some Moonology cards clear. All right, so what is going on for people? What do people need to hear? What do people need to know today? Balance, practicality, and spirituality, full moon in Pisces. So really that spiritual connection piece is so important for us right now. I feel like that's the overriding theme, I guess, of a lot of this is just that 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 finding and achieving that sense of connection. I feel like some people, it is, it's, it's coming back to that message of being so busy. And it's like, why are you so busy? Are you so busy because you have to be or are you so busy because you're running from something? And even if you have to be that busy, is there some way that you can find a way to reconnect with yourself during that process to bring your spirituality with you when you pack your bag for the day? Is there a way that you can pack that with you as well and take that throughout your day? It's like finding the time and the energy for the spiritual practice. I feel like that's an energy that people are are struggling with a little bit right now and i feel like some people it's almost like you're saying like i am i am reaching for my dreams right now i am really committed to to creating what i want in my reality and that's why my spiritual condition is falling by the wayside a little bit because i am so busy right i am so driven and so it's like, if that is the case for you, then spirit is saying, take a little bit of time out for you. Like find some way to do that. You have to find some way to do that. You have to find some way to nurture yourself. And for some people that may require um, reaching out for assistance, uh, somebody to uh, shoulder a little bit of the burden so that you have that time that you need. It's like uh, spirit doesn't want you to burn out. And so, but you're with this, your dreams need a practical plan energy. It's like what I'm feeling from that is just what I said, really. It's like you, you may have figured out the plan for your, your forward progress, but where does your spirituality, where does that nurturing and caring for yourself factor into that? And have you factor that into the equation? If you haven't, it's not a practical plan because eventually if we have not factored self-care and our own, like the, our sp the spiritual tending into that process, we are going to fizzle out. So that needs to be addressed as you move forward. And then we have the new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. And so let me, let me get a couple cards before I speak on that. New romantic cycle begins. Confidence is your key to success and take time to breathe out. Okay. So this is what I'm feeling this as right now. Part of what I'm feeling this as is um, us being reminded that that every relationship that we have, whether this is a romantic, a family, whatever, is involves a little bit of give and take. Right. That's what I'm seeing with the scales here and with this uh, give rather than take energy. It all involves a little give and take. And so if we are expecting a lot from others, can we instead look of what, at what we can give? And if we are giving to, if we are giving a lot to others, can we look at whether we are receiving in balance, whether we are open to receiving that in balance almost. Virgo is that energy that can sometimes be uh, overly caring for of others and sort of uh, neglect the self a little bit. And Virgo energy is all about learning to master self-care, right? Virgo rules health. It rules the body. It rules all of that. So it's very much us, us needing to learn, needing to learn that art of self-care. And Libra as well can be overly compromising sometimes, right? Uh, to the point of detriment. And so we really want to make sure that we're being balanced there. And with this confidence, it's like that we know our worth. That we know our worth and we know what we're capable of and we don't hold ourselves back because of that. That's sort of the energy that I'm feeling also is like, don't hold yourself back from what you deserve because you don't feel like you're worth it. So that's really interesting. That's really interesting. I feel as though, I feel, I feel this energy too of like somebody, somebody needs to see things from another person's perspective 
They need to see things from another person's perspective. And they need to um, to approach a situation uh, delicately. Uh, approach a situation delicately. That's where this take time to breathe out is. It's like don't charge headlong into a situation or a conversation. You want to come from a fair and balanced place where you're able to see from both sides and you're able to be in that energy of reciprocity. And you want to know your worth and you don't want to settle for less than that. Absolutely not. But you also want to, you don't want to be too aggressive in your approach. You want to be confident, but you don't want to be aggressive. That's sort of like what I'm getting from that right now, which is all interesting energy. Anything else here? A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. And so, yeah, there is a situation wanting to be resolved. There's some sort of personal situation wanting to be resolved right now. It may be a relationship situation with this romantic, but it doesn't have to be necessarily. Even though it says romantic on this card, it doesn't have to be that. But some sort of situation, some sort of relationship and that is that is uh is wanting there's an issue whatever the issues are that are going on they're wanting to come to resolution but with this cancer energy this is the intuitive energy this is that nurturing energy so we really want to tap into this nurturing side of ourselves and we want to tap into that loving aspect of the leo that loving aspect that is confident and does know what it what it deserves and desires and is able to express that, right? Leo is a very expressive energy. We want to be able to express all of that. But we want to do it in a very calm, fair, and balanced way. Uh, we really want to approach whatever this this uh, this issue is that needs resolving. We want to approach it a little bit delicately right now. Remember, this is an intense time. This Mercury retrograde has been serious. We've had a lot of really intense planetary configurations going on in the middle of it with that stellium and Aquarius, with all of these planets dancing together. We had the Venus-Pluto conjunction. Now we have Venus uh, coming up conjunct Jupiter, right? Um, we have the Saturn square Uranus energy. We have uh, Uranus and Mars square and a lot of planets right now. It's just a lot. It's a lot. And so we want to take that into consideration when we are dealing with our own thoughts and emotions and needs and desires and also with other people's. That just, that wants to be, that wants to be something, that's something that wants to be taken into our awareness. And if we can come from that fair and balanced perspective and, um, really balance that energy of giving and receiving and of of just being being compassionate like fierce honest compassionate energy fierce honest compassionate conversation and uh conflict resolution is sort of what i'm feeling there and then yeah that energy of feeling worthy coming out again with the you are good enough full moon and virgo like really knowing what knowing knowing our worth and not compromising that and um Letting other people know that too and that we see that in them, right? That they are worthy as well. Uh, because there may, it's interesting, like when we're feeling this, we may not realize sometimes when we feel unworthy or when we're struggling with confidence issues or ability to express something, another person might be as well. And so it's just something to really uh, take into consideration as we, are, as we are moving forward. But I feel like it's... <clears throat> There's a lot of a lot of different situations in our lives right now that are really causing us to have to look at our own our own self-worth, how much we value ourselves and how much that's reflected in our outward reality. Uh, so there's there's just there's a lot of energies sort of uh, coming like at the at the end of everything. That's part of the personal issue is is our self-worth. That's like one of the things at the core here. And then we have a win-win outcome as forecast, which is the full moon in Libra. So coming from the new to the full moon in Libra there to close out that little segment, um, which is perfect energy, right? That's full circle, full cycle. And so things are, they, this can, this personal issue can be resolved in the benefit, the highest benefit of everyone in, um, involved if all of this, these aspects are taken into consideration. And if we watch out for the pride and the ego, we want to make sure that that's balanced as well. We want to make sure we're not coming from that place of pride or ego as we move forward in these interactions with others. All right. I think that's where, you, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where we're going to leave it for today, guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you so very, very much. And I will talk to you soon. Uh, you guys know the drill. Uh, 
Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that stuff helps. It is much appreciated. Uh, links to donate are down below. My email is also in the description of my services. Please reach out to me. If you would like some assistance, I would love to assist you. And however it is that you need assisting at this time. Love you. Have a great day.